Hi everyone, Mike Vulcan here. I wanted to teach you something today about ad copy. It's called A-B testing. I'm sure you've heard the term before, but it's really used incorrectly and a lot of people don't know how to A-B test. So I'm going to show you how to do ad copy properly to determine which one is better for a given audience. Now, we're talking just about ads here, but you can A-B test just about anything. Website copy, landing pages, all different types of uh, pay-per-click ads, whether it's Facebook or AdWords. Um, anything really. So I've written down the top four things you can A-B test um, on your own. Headline and uh, ad copy, uh, the different colors, uh, call to actions, also called CTAs, and then demographics, even geographics. So I have a couple sample ads right here. Um, as you can see, they're very identical. In some cases, and in some respects, they can be very different. So I'm going to show you how we're going to A-B test headlines or copy changes. First of all, the big rule of thumb, the thing that I see most people get wrong all the time when A-B testing is, you want to change just one thing from the different ad sets you're comparing. Okay, So let's say you want to run two different ads to the same group of people. You want to test one difference because if there's more than one, you wouldn't know which one was the winner because of a particular reason. So let's say you uh, had two variations of an ad and one of them came out to be much more clickable, much more engaged, drove a lot more revenue, but you don't know the reason why because there's multiple variations in that one ad. So you want to make sure there's one change in each ad set. So in this case, headline and copy, you want to lose weight at Stubby's gym. Okay, that's the ad. It's not a real gym. I just made up the name. So lose weight at Stubby's gym, dedicated trainers, open 24 seven. Now, the only difference between those three lines and the, and the uh, three lines in this ad is the second line here. The second line in this ad is dedicated trainers. Okay. The second ad here is plans as low as $15 a month. So what you are testing is if the audience is reacting to the fact that they have dedicated trainers on staff or that the plans are as low as $15 a price point. Okay. So is price point more important or is the fact that they have dedicated trainers more important? That's what you're going to be testing to the same set of people. Okay. Now you can see these are open 24 seven, open 24 seven. Those are the same. Again, one difference. Now I put this one in a different color just because of the sake of what I'm about to explain now, but ideally the ads would have the same color button. Now, um, if you wanted to test, for example, Facebook is very graphical. Instagram is very graphical. You can test different color variations. Um, we have a learn more button here in a red and learn more button in blue. You can see if one's contrasting in color to the rest of the text. Um, maybe an image in, in your ad is contrasting against another image. You can test which one is more in, engaging based on which one they click more often, obviously, right? So the one that's um, going to get more engagement is the one that you should go to in terms of color. Now call to act, call to action, sorry. Learn more button. Or maybe um, it's a, a call now button. Maybe it's um, an install now button if it's an app. Maybe if it's a, you know go to website or something that would indicate some someone is going to take less of a commitment. Learn more is great. Buy now uh, may not be so good if you're talking about gym memberships because people don't just want to buy right there and then uh, without looking into more of the gym in this case. Um, but if it's a, an impulse buy where it might be like a personalized coffee mug or something or a T-shirt then yeah, they may want to buy it right there by looking at that ad. Okay, So make sure your level of commitment for call to action uh, is also tested pretty well. Um, I've had great success with um, people selling apps. You know, uh, I'm running ads right now for an app company. Install Now tested way better uh, for certain apps that didn't need too much explanation. Okay, So Install Now and in some cases learn more, it really just depends on the app or the product. So you want to test the different, not only color variations, but the different level of commitments for your call to action. Okay, and one more here, like I said, there's dozens of different things you can A-B test, if not hundreds, but demographics is a huge one. So for this particular ad, you can run um, someone that's interested, that shows interest in uh, Jenny Craig, all right, obviously a popular weight loss company, or any other competitor that has to do with weight loss, you know, Weight Watchers, whatever. So you can test that ad, uh, that ad set, one and two, against a different demographic of interested in weight loss. People who are specifically interested in weight loss, maybe they bought weight loss products, maybe they're talking about weight loss, whatever the case. You can compare the same ad groups across different demographics 
and get different results. Definitely, it happens all the time. Now, another thing that's interesting that I've noticed in a few of my companies I work with is geographic differences. I have noticed that running the same ad in uh, United States gets a different response than Canada because there's different regional dialects uh, going on, there's different interest levels, some things are hot in the US and some things are not hot in um, Canada, whatever the case, you can test uh, different geographic variations of your ads to see which one is more uh, likely. In fact, um, I've, I've ran ads where uh, Texas, you know, state to state, Texas seems to get uh, more clicks on uh, certain products. Um, in, in the case I'm referring to is food products, okay? Not to say that Texans like food any more than anybody else, but for that particular product I was marketing, Texas responded better because perhaps in Texas, they're used to eating that food or a variation of that food and it enticed them in some way. Okay, so you want to test the geographic variations of ads as well. So I hope this gives you a good start. Big thing to take away out of all of this is to test one variant between the different ads you're running. Okay, best of luck.